Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on Earth. Hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna be talking about a YouTuber and trying to figure out what watch he actually owns. Um, we're gonna be talking about Vicstar123. If you don't know, he's a pretty influential person on YouTube. He's got millions of subscribers. Um, and I saw a couple pictures of him. This this was back in 2017 or 2018 when these pictures um, were released, but uh, I saw some pictures of him with a, with a watch and I, I wanna see if I can figure out what it is. Um, I've done some research on, 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 on the watch that I think it is. Um, so that's what we're gonna be discussing today. But before we get into that, if you like these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button for the Vicstar123, uh, for Vicstar123's watch. Also subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Uh, we create videos about watches, which is pretty, they're pretty fun for me to make. And uh, uh, if you like these types of videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe. So um, Vicstar123 is a famous YouTuber, like I said, um, and he's known for, uh, originally he, he was known for um, creating Minecraft videos. He did a lot of Minecraft uh, editorials and, and um, educational videos for people who enjoy playing Minecraft, but he also was um, played video games like Call of Duty and, um, Call of Duty, Fortnite, um, a lot of the, the very popular games out there. Um, he also, when I'm vi filming this, um, he actually um, has been playing um, the new Warzone, which is um, uh, Call of Duty's uh, Battle Royale, and he has played in this Warzone Wednesday competition, and he's actually a three-time champion in a row um, uh, of Warzone Wednesday, so he's won uh, three different Warzone Wednesday events. These were the first three Warzone events as well, so pretty crazy that he was so successful in that. It's really cool, Vicstar, if you're watching this, congratulations and huge, huge um, influence on me. Um, he's also part of a group called the Sidemen. The Sidemen is a, a group of individuals from the UK who create videos with, with one another and really are just are good mates and good friends. Um, those are really entertaining and I, I watch them. Uh, I don't watch a lot of YouTube, but I think they're quite quite funny. Um, you know, you have KSI, Mini Minter, and Vicstar, who's, who's in my opinion, my favorite uh, Sidemen. Um, so yeah, he's kind of known for, for um, his influence on, on YouTube. And um, I actually saw a tweet that uh, he had. It was him sitting in, the, in his Tesla. And I could see a wrist, a, a watch on his wrist. I'll be sure to pick up, put up a picture of the, the, the picture that I'm referring to. And he's in the back of his car and um, uh, he's got his uh, sleeping pillow and, and uh, um, uh, sleeping uh, eye patch on, eye patches on. And um, someone commented on this video and asked, what watch are you wearing? And he uh, actually said, um, it's a Hublot Classic Fusion. So that was a good hint on what type of watch it was, but I will say like, I've seen him in videos wearing watches as well. So clearly he has an interest in it or at least enjoys the watch that he's purchased. Um, so from his reply to the individual who asked him what watch it was, we know that it's a Hublot, uh, a Hublot Classic Fusion, but I didn't really know exactly which reference it was, um, which made it a little bit um, harder to figure out. Uh, I will say that some of the characteristics that I can see from it, it's obviously a Hublot, Hublot Classic Fusion. It's got a black bracelet and black case, but the bezel and the um, chronograph pushers and the crown are all the same color. I, it looks like it's a rose gold color, um, but I wasn't sure. Um, so did a little bit more digging and I saw a picture of him sitting at the old Sideman house and you can see clearly that he has a, it's definitely a Hublot a Classic Fusion chronograph, um, but you can, I kind of ver verified the fact that it is indeed um, a uh, rose gold, um, rose gold bezel. Uh, you can see the rose gold on the on the dial as well and rose gold on the crown and pushers. So I'm not, a, I'm not very interested in uh, Hublot. I, I don't, I'm not definitely not a scholar of Hublot watches. Um, so I had to do a little bit of research. So I looked into um, which watches they were, and I think I found um, which watch it was. If Vicstar, if you are watching this video, confirm down below if this is actually the watch that, that it is, because it'd be cool if I actually found it. Um, so uh, reference number on this is insane, um, but I'll, I'll read it out. It's the Hublot521.co.1781.rx. Uh, little thing to know you need to <laughs> adjust your reference numbers but besides that this, the official title is, is this is the classic fusion 45 chronograph king gold black ceramic black um so like i said it has a um black strap black case and then you can see the crown the crowns or excuse me the crown the chronograph pusher and the bezel are all rose gold um the watch itself is actually made out of titanium and ceramic. If you look at the dial, it actually has a carbon fiber dial and then all of the accents on the dial itself are made out of rose gold. Um, the glass is obviously sapphire and it's a pretty big watch. You're looking at 45 millimeters in, in uh, diameter. Um, 
it's actually running off of an ETA movement. It's the ETA 2892-A2. So ETA movement, it's a work workhorse movement. Um, I will say that it's interesting that an ETA movement is in such an expensive watch, but that's besides the point. Um, the caliber that it's running on is the HUB1143, which is obviously a modified uh, ETA movement, um, but it's a self-winding movement, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, the uh, subdials for the chronograph are actually straight black, so it's a nice little contrast um, compared to the uh, to the carbon fiber dial. And like I said, you've got hours, minutes, and then small seconds. What I really like about um, Big Bangs is actually the fact that at the end of the um, not at the end, at the uh, at the middle of the uh, chronograph hand, you can actually see the Hublot logo, um, which I think is kind of unique for these watches. Um, I think Breitling also does it with their chronograph hand, which I think is cool. Um, I think it's just a nice little touch to 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 see. Um, I don't know, um, you know, if. Uh, Big Star bought this for a specific purpose. I can probably guess that he probably purchased it to celebrate, um, celebrate uh, his success um, during his YouTube career. I will say it'd be interesting for him to confirm that. Uh, I think he actually owns a couple more Hublots. I haven't really gone uh, too in depth on to into like which kind of his entire collection, um, but uh, regardless, I think it's um, it's uh, it's um cool to see that he, he has a, a passion for watches. Uh, like I said, he probably got it for his success um, uh, with, in his career. Um, I think it's a great watch to do that. If he has an interest in, in who blows and he really likes the design elements and how they feel on the wrist, um, that's all that matters. I will say 45 millimeters is relatively large, but it could fit him very, very nicely. Um, at least from the pictures that I'm seeing, they fit quite nicely. It's a chunky watch, but I, maybe that's, you know, something that he, he likes. The one, the picture of him sitting down at the old Sideman house, it looks great. So um, I, I, I think if I had that type of money and I, if, I, if I was going to buy this watch and I had that pot of money available, I'd probably buy something else. But I think that's just because I'm a little bit more, my passion is watches, his passions maybe is um, video games and entertainment. So it's a little bit different. Um, but uh, regardless, I think it's cool that he, um, he has a has a has an interesting watch on his wrist. Um, Vixar, if you are watching this, let me know. Like I said, confirm that this is the watch. Also, um, let me know if you have any other um, Hublots. I'd love to 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 talk about them and see and kind of research them. And and uh, it's cool that you you're you're a watch guy. Uh, regardless if it is a Hublot or you have other watches in your collection, it'd be cool to to see them. So. Um, yeah, that's that's my first kind of YouTuber watch spotting. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this a little bit more often. It's kind of fun to try and figure out what reference uh, number specific YouTubers have on, on specific watches. Um, so if there are people who you'd like me to um, talk about or find what watches they're wearing, put that in the comment section below. I did do, that was about a year ago, I did a video on uh, KSI. Uh, I looked at his uh, watch that he purchased after he um, had uh, I believe it was when he, after he fought uh, Logan Paul for the first time. Uh, so I did do a video on that. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. It's a relatively expensive watch, not to my taste, but uh, it's a good way of celebrating a, a milestone in, in JJ's life. So um, check that out. Let me know who else you want me to do in this in, in this kind of series um, in the comment section below. If you are new to Life on the Wrist um, and you're interested in watches, or if you're not interested in watches and you kind of just want to get into them, you should follow my, my channel. We, we, we do a lot of educational videos and we want to make this as as, um, as a widespread hobby as possible, but it's also very easy to get into watches. Uh, we have some series where we discuss, um, discuss uh, kind of beginner's guide to vintage watches. We also discuss um, t typical watch um, questions that we get from new collectors or new people who are interested in the in watch collecting um, but we also review watches we talk about news in, in the in the watch industry um, we're very very broad in, in the types of um, types of information that we cover so um, check out our other videos and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel also if you didn't do it in the beginning of the video be sure to hit a, that like button for Vic stars who blow uh, classic fusion chronograph it's a really beautiful watch and uh, it deserves a like from you guys and with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.